Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to safely dispose of your computer or maybe your hard drive. So the process is going to depend on what you're trying to do. So let's say you're going to give the computer away and you want to clean it up first. Or let's say maybe the computer just died and you want to recycle it, but you want to make sure you don't have any data on it. So that's what we're going to be covering in this video. All right, so the first method we're going to discuss is wiping your hard drive. So why would you want to wipe your hard drive? Uh, prevent identity theft. So if you have personal and business data on your drive that you don't want anybody to get their hands on, you might want to do that. So just deleting files and then emptying the recycle bin is not 100% effective because there are third-party tools you could use to recover deleted files. And even some of the free ones will do a good job. And of course, there's high-level methods to recover your data as well if it's not wiped. All right, so if you need to ensure compliance, let's say you're on a work computer and you need to properly wipe a drive and you need to follow specific regulations like these, uh, you could do that as well. And then if you're going to reuse it or resell it, you want to make sure you don't have any sensitive information on it. So if you're a Microsoft Windows user, there's actually a way you could do this within Windows where it will wipe the drive and reinstall Windows. So I'll put a link in the description for that video if you want to check that out. So now we're going to show you a third party app you could use to securely wipe your data. So there are many of these as well, but we're going to show you this one in particular. All right, so this one's called Ease US Bitwiper. So it has several options here, and there are also different versions of the program depending on your needs. And you can see here it also has a Create Bootable Media option. So that way you could boot your computer and wipe your C drive more securely. All right, so let's start from this side first. We have the file shredder. So let's say you want to get rid of a particular file. Let's say we didn't want this Word document any longer. We could just drag it in here. And then we could click on shred. So this will permanently delete this specific file. All right, then we have the wipe free space option. So what this will do is wipe the free space on a particular drive. It's not going to wipe files, but anything that's free. So let's say you have a bunch of deleted files and you want to wipe that free space and kind of clean it up. You could do that as well. So let's say we want to wipe the free space on this drive here, this E drive. Now you could pick which method you want to use here. So you can see some of these require you to buy the pro version, but you do have a higher end version here, or you could just do the quick version like so. So I'm just going to do the quick version for the sake of time here. So this is not going to erase the files on this drive that are still in use. So let's look at those real quick. So these files are still on the drive. So I'll click on Next. Let me close this folder just to make sure there's no conflicts here. All right, so this might take a minute, so I'll pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, so the free space has been removed. So let's go back and make sure our files are still there on this E drive. Yep, so everything's still there. All right, then we have the wipe partition option. If you want to wipe a single partition, so it breaks down the partitions for you here. So this will be used on a secondary drive, not necessarily your Windows drive. And then we have the wipe disk option, which will wipe an entire disk. And once again, for a secondary drive, not your Windows drive, unless you use one of the boot tools here to do so. All right, so there are other applications that do the same thing. So I'll put some links in the description for some of those as well, so you can check them out. Okay, so let's move on to the next topic here. So destroying your hard drive. So let's say you replaced your hard drive with something newer and faster or larger. Or let's say it was starting to go bad and you removed it. And also, if you're going to recycle the computer, let's say it's old and you're getting a new one, uh, you should probably take the hard drive out and destroy it before you take the rest of the computer to the recycling center. All right, so there are several ways to destroy your hard drive. So, of course, you're going to have to take it out first. So here's a picture of one that's been smashed by a hammer. And it's also going to vary depending on what type of drive. So this is an older spinning disk. So this is not a SSD drive, but you could still break those as well. All right, so you could do something like drill holes through the drive. So this works well for traditional hard drives with spinning disks, and it'll work well for SSD drives as well. 
So you can drill multiple holes through the platters inside the drive. So these are the platters here. They're usually stacked. There'll be several of them. So this will make the drive unreadable. You could smash it with a hammer like you see here. Of course, you got to be careful when doing something like this. And they could also smash the circuitry that's going to be on the other side on the circuit board. And then if you have a way to actually take it somewhere and have the drive shredded with an industrial hard drive shredder, that's your best option there. And then you could also use a service that uses a degausser, which is a high-powered magnet that scrambles the drive's data. So this works well on hard drives with the disks, but not SSDs since they don't use magnetic storage like regular hard drives do. All right, so here's a picture of a hard drive inside of a computer. So you'll have to look for the drive. Here's the circuit board. You could smash as well. You just have to remove the connections here, one for power, one for the data connection to the motherboard. Unscrew it from the case. Some of them will have little clips that you could just unclip and slide it out. Other ones you'll have to use some screws to get to. And then worst case scenario, they'll have some big bracket around it that you'll have to remove first. So some of these are easy to get to. Some of them are kind of buried inside and it takes a little work to get them out of the computer. Then here's an NVMe drive, SSD drive. So they go in these little slots here on your motherboard. They'll have to screw up on the top to secure it. Then you just simply lift up and pull out. And then you could you know, snap them in half if you want or smash them with a hammer, whatever you want to do. All right, so there are a few things you could do to either wipe your data or destroy your drive to get rid of your computer if that's your goal or just to get rid of the hard drive. So like I said, if you're just going to replace the drive, you could take the drive out and destroy it and reuse the computer. Or you could do the wipe method if you're going to be giving the computer to somebody else and just securely delete the files. And then you could reinstall the operating system if you want to take it a step further. Or you could just wipe the drive itself and call it a day.